Hi everyone! We are nearing the end of July here in central Ohio in Morrill County. This is where we have been working on a restoration project for almost 14 years. And one thing we were noticing as we were standing out here is just the way these layers of plants are starting to stitch together in this really beautiful way. And so we were thinking about design or no design. And one of the books that we looked at long ago was this one right here. And we just loved what we saw in here. Everything was so beautiful and really laid out well and had all these different layers of plants and I'm going to set this book down here. There we go. Sorry about that. Everything's kind of wet. We've had a little pickle shower. But there were all these layers of plants in that book and shady nooks and sunny nooks. And we didn't really have anything thought out like that when we started. Really, it was more just take an area and get it out of sod. And so right in here, this is one of the first areas we've done. So south of the house, I've featured this area a lot. And it's one that we keep open. We are gonna always, while we're here and maintaining this, keep this in wildflowers. Now you can see to the west there are sugar maples and black walnut. And so later in the day, that this area, the sunflower area, the wildflower area, will be more shady because those trees are west of the wildflowers. Over here, as we kind of turn around, you see we've got all these different patches of wildflowers, but we also have trees integrated and shrubs, smaller trees, smaller shrubs. This area here, which is just in, it's the circle area of the driveway. So we have a U-shaped driveway. That's this mowed grass down here. The least interesting thing that's going on here, but it works well to park on. And look at this. I mean, just the way the fragrant sumac, the red bud in the middle, cup plants that's the main sunflower in bloom here right now and it is just gorgeous the bergamot or monarda is finishing up look how though they all live together they have moved around this is a plant from a friend called coreopsis they've moved around a lot here and it's pretty cool that they keep finding areas that they're happy and as we move in a little bit, you can see that there's still a Monarda in there that's in a lot more bloom. And that has one of the hummingbird clear wings on there. And that's part of what you get when the layers are here. So since this red bud is here, there's some shaded areas. And that helps the plants to be protected a bit from really hot sunshine. Now it can also be competitive in another way in taking more moisture, but a lot of these plants seem to get along quite well. And them moving around to where they're happy is telling us, okay, you done good. You put me near the spot. Maybe I don't like where you put me exactly, but I'm gonna go to seed and I'm gonna move somewhere else. And so we've hit the sweet spot and in a lot and then look right here you can see we have a lot of dead right in there that is the staghorn sumac one of the very first woodies we put in this area to really start defining this space and now oh my gosh it's just so cool you have this red bud as well and then look at the cup plants so even though they really like some sunshine they can do a fair bit of shade especially if they're getting part sun now we're gonna try real quick to walk out here to the road, just to see what you see from the road. Okay, we're safe. So we got our signs right there, a little bit covered in plants, but that's good because the plants are what it's all about. Thimbleweed is all along the fence line. 
This, my friends, is one of our favorites. Oh yeah, look it up if you haven't. You probably should become one. <laughs> Check it out. Look at this. See, we're looking at no design here really. Steve and I were looking more at what the plants need and then trying to replicate what we see in nature. And then somehow now things are filling in and looking like we had a plan. And really the plan was just the plant's plan. And we have a couple areas that you were like in this little magical walkway like look there <laughs> and we were uh, defined here by the sidewalk this was put in a long time ago it's really skinny and straight we would have had a curvy one but we just keep using what is here and you can see that our house is surrounded in beautiful plants and so when you sit inside our windows are almost always open and we get to watch all of the life around out here we get to hear the bird song that's what wakes us up in the morning and it's what puts us to sleep at night the singing insects and all of these trees so by adding this diversity of plants and the diversity in the layers we have really been able to be a part of something that feels quite miraculous around here. It's an ecological <laughs> haven, a development here. So everything's in relationship with one another. And that's one of the great joys of using native plants. All of these insects and plants and birds have evolved together. They need one another. And so when you put them back in that way you get to be part of it and then it ends up looking like this this landscaped area and i love all of you designers and landscapers who are doing this and probably can jump start folks but i want to encourage a lot of you too if if you just want to be doing it on your own just start adding those things diverse native plants diverse layers look at what the plants want and then let them move around where they want. And then you'll get to live in something that looks like this. And I don't know how to describe this other than we got back from a trip last week, this past weekend, I've lost track of days. And coming home to this really helped ease the transition. Our trips are always to very wild lands and to be able to come home to a wild land made us feel tended in our spirits just like when we are out exploring and then we also get to know that the life here in Ohio where we live in some areas that need it more than others has got some stuff going on there's some restoration there's some rewilding and so thanks to all of you for doing this on your own too we are ever so grateful and we love it when you share your observations with us so please continue to do so and maybe give a kiss to a plant later today i know i will <laughs>